If you're looking for a great way to spend a Sunday afternoon, then you need to head down to Tennessee's oldest town for Main Street Brews and Tunes. Here to get us ready for a fun evening in Jonesboro is Melinda Cobb. Hello. Well, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me again. Brews and Tunes time again. Yes, it's it is. It's going to be exciting. Tell us about it. Well, it's been going on for a month now. Oh, yeah. We're continuing it. It goes through the end of September. We've mm -hmm. changed the time a little bit this year, made it a little later in the afternoon. So, you know, you can still get some things done during your Sunday right. and then come down and, and finish off the week. At, and Jonesboro, so and, it's a great time. tell us about this particular Sunday coming up. Yeah, this particular Sunday we have Spencer Ryan who will be doing the music. He's out of Nashville. We're excited to host him. We've not had him before. We're really excited to share his music with, with uh, East Tennessee. Right. And then we also have John C. Brewing will be offering a selection of beers and the Noli Truck will be offering some uh, great and selections of And I know the food. Noli Truck is a big draw for folks. They bring I mean, it. <laughs> I mean, every day at lunch you get around the Noli Truck and there's a lot, a lot of people there. Absolutely, so. absolutely. Brews and tunes. I mean, you said you change the time. It's from yeah. four to seven. Yes. And that, that really does give you a time if you got to spend, if you want to spend time with your family, if you got stuff you need to do in the afternoon on Sunday, then you got some time to come on down. Yeah, the beer and the food start at four. Right. Music um, starts up at five and it all ends at seven. Um, we also have yoga in the park. That's been an addition that we added last year. And we're looking at some pictures right now. Big crowd. Yeah, great crowds. Great crowds. And it's a very family friendly event. Mm -hmm. You know, lots of kids, lots of dogs. So it's, it's really a good time for all. You know, it's right there on the plaza, and then we've got the park right behind the Storytelling Center. So, you know, the kids go up in the park and kind of have a good time. You know, always make sure to go down to JJ's and get you a scoop of ice cream. Oh, absolutely. It's fun to do. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a great way to just kind of have have a fun afternoon. And I'll, it looked like, you know, you're looking at those pictures, everybody's smiling because yeah. you just it's just a laid back good time. It really is. It really is. I mean, and it's rain or shine. I mean, you, you've got the place for the band if yes. they need to be in. And yeah. you got those tables with the big umbrellas. So. And we've had a little yeah. rain this year. But and it, it doesn't Sunday's stop looking the fun. <laughs> yeah. Sunday is looking perfect. It Jeremy's really is. doing us right on that. Yeah, yeah. So you actually said that during, we just got through with Jonesboro Days. Yes. And there's actually three new businesses that have opened up There are. We, uh, we had three new businesses that opened up during the start of Jonesboro Days, which was exciting. We've got an escape game that just opened in Jonesboro at the corner that. of Fox Street. Yeah. So, yeah, be sure to come check it out. It's set as an old jail that you try to break out of. And then um, Noel also opened in downtown Jonesboro. Noel is formerly Gracious Designs, okay. so we're excited to have them back in Jonesboro. And they are featuring all kinds of seasonal decor. And the great thing about uh, Noel is they offer lots of free, fun decorating classes. Ah. And they've already got their class schedule up, and I think their next schedule or their next class starts next weekend. So it's a lot of fun. And then C and L Chandler's, which is a candle making shop, okay. just opened as well. So they have lots of fun. Um, a little bit of essential oil candles. Okay. They've got a men's uh, selection of candles. So they've got some uh, some great candles that are made oh. right in Jonesboro. It's great to see new businesses moving in. Absolutely. I mean, just keeping that fresh blood going. There. Absolutely. So, yeah. And uh, speak going back to brews and tunes. Tell us you got it. It's going to continue. You said yeah. It September. continues to the end of September. So be sure to go. You can go on our Facebook page, Main mm -hmm. Street Brews and Tunes. See the full schedule of mm -hmm. artists and um, and the breweries that we have lined right. up and, and follow us on there to see the recent notifications. And for the latest events throughout Jonesboro that goes on all the time, uh, be sure to follow Main Street Jonesboro on Facebook. All right. Melinda Klopp, thank you so much Thanks for, for coming by. Thanks for we got some information for you right now. It is Main Street Brews and Tunes featuring Spencer Ryan. Sunday, this Sunday, July 9th, it starts at 4 p.m., goes to 7 there at the Storytelling Center Plaza in downtown Jonesboro.